it's time for Derby County against Liverpool. A Sky Sports production available in widescreen, Dolby surround and interactive where there's stats, highlights, full screen camera act, player cam and fan zone. That's for Sky Digital viewers on Channel 404. Right now, let's join our match commentators, Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. And today's Premiership episode features some of the characters who featured in the World Cup uh, drama you've been following over the past few days. Michael Owen, one of six Liverpool players in the England squad for those games. Sammy Herpia kept England at bay on Wednesday, along with his fellow Finn and rival today, Simo Valakari. And there's Christian Zieger, who helped Germany win at Wembley. The subject of our player camp, the Sky Digital viewers on Channel 404, Georgie King Kladzik. In the uh, Derby tandem in attack with Malcolm Christie, who won his first international cap at under 21 level on the Tuesday night in Finland. Of course, Derby staged the under 21 game here against Germany, and as they often do on such occasions, put on a, a very good show of it and attracted a near capacity crowd. Steve Bennett is the referee. Nothing wrong with the conditions. Lovely pitch, not too much wind around autumnal football weather and the autumnal feeling really more with Derby of course than Liverpool although Liverpool haven't been consistently at their best and there are those who will be uh, working hard to impress Gerard Julio today who haven't been in the team uh, recently Carragher in that uh, primarily defensive midfield role alongside the McAllister who may have more license to influence the play further forward. Patrick Berger back today after a knee injury that he picked up right at the start of the season. Well, you'll find that Berger might get just a little bit of license to roam a little bit more than normal, Mark, because with Christian Zieger playing just behind him. Absolutely happy, tracking way down that left side. Not a problem for Ziga to find himself up the edge of the box. If Berger wants to wander in field a little. Ziga was a winner here with Middlesbrough last season and scored on this ground. The free kick has been awarded by the same referee who's taking charge today. Several players in one, Rory Delap for Derby. There was some talk that he would be uh, nominated as a, a backup goalkeeper today, and they wouldn't have someone on the bench because uh, they've only got a 17-year-old Lee Grant, but he has been picked. Chase here for Christie, who's a little bit older than that. Good defending by Babel. Did well. They're always under pressure. Get the cam head. Zieger's got a head of Berger, back to McAllister again. Hegem. Carragher's pass. Owen trying to take it on. It was a problem for Hegem. Well, it didn't look anything to feel like that. That looks like a hamstring he's feeling like. I don't know whether he just... You see the shake of the head, we're only he's in the... hamstring problems yeah, before. I tell you, we're only in the third minute of the match, and that doesn't look good for Gerard Hulli. And if that is the hamstring, I don't know whether it's the ankle, the hammy. Certainly if it's just a knock in the ankle, then it'll be OK, but he just flicked away to it, then he reaches it for it. Galley is the Liverpool physio, Danny Murphy. And we look to see whether it might be required. And Gerard Julio has had injuries to deal with in the selection of this team. One minute just asking for a minute, Dave Galley there for Hegem, just to have a further assessment. And then we'll have to take place off the pitch. And we'll restart with a Liverpool throw. And Hirpiet has gone forward. Bragstad. Carragher. McAllister. McAllister. Oh, playing uh, 
everything he could to keep the ball in play, including mowing down the corner flag. Well, if that's a hamstring, Mark, then the experience tells me that ain't a good sign. I have to say, even if you come back on, it's, there's obviously a weakness there. We're not even straightening that leg. The leg's still been kept a little bit bent. Yeah. I think Danny Murphy might be on pretty quickly. By uh, Chris Riggett, Mark Palm, the Estonian goalkeeper, who played very well in defeat in uh, Dublin. Irania. Christie trying to stay onside. Irania keeping the ball. Powell. Had a ball on Mark Seth Johnson had made a great run way on the left hand side, wasn't spotted. Pity for Derby. That's real involvement for King Cladze. And Cowrie's pass into the feet of uh, Chris D. King Cladze again. Johnson looking from the left. And doing well to get the cross in. It's too high for Chris D. Cleared by Ziga. He's coming on, Mark. Decision's been made for Liverpool. Well, three out at the start through injury, who have been in the team. And one of the replacements injured, well, within a matter of seconds. At the start here at Pride Park, and Danny Murphy is uh, needed. In midfield. Yeah, it looks like, oh well, at the moment, we've got Jamie Carragher tucked back in there at the right back. So it could be LB that Danny Murphy and Gary McAllister will be central midfield. Just got to be careful now because someone's got to have discipline. We can't both go forward at the same time. Probably up to Gary McAllister to be a little more disciplined, I'm not sure. Murphy made a good strike for Liverpool last season. He actually scored the Premiership goal against Derby at Anfield. The return here was one uh, with a fair degree of comfort in March. That's one of only two defeats Derby have suffered at home in the league in the year 2000. Tend to think otherwise. They have drawn all four of their league games on this ground this season. Too many draws, Jim Smith would say. Classic, who was responsible for one of those with an equaliser against Leeds in difficult circumstances when Derby were down to ten men. Heskey, not restricted to the left-hand side for his club as he was for his country, although he was telling us how much he enjoyed the experience of playing in Helsinki. The man who picked him on the left for his country, Howard Wilkinson, is here today. And how much has changed for Howard since... Uh, he was last here with the under-21s the day before Kevin Keegan left his post. <laughs> going in uh, <laughs> typical tenacity. He's had a lot of bookings, most of them for mistime challenges. to uh, leave himself out of the German squad for a couple of years. Last played for his country against England in Charlois in June. Please. Concentrate, he says, in his new life with Liverpool. Blackstone, Powell. So, certainly a more senior look to Derby's midfield today. Without the likes of Powell and Burley in too many of the earlier games. The flag has gone up. It would be closer on Christie, I think. You saw Craig Burley central, absolutely yards offside. You watch he drifts, he drifts, and well, it's close with Christie. He tries to come back, not a lot in that, but whether he's just giving Craig Burley a slap bang in the middle of the pitch offside. To 
Johnson. See this looking at reaching Iranio. Oh, Rory Galapa actually uh, sorted that out, but uh, the referee had stopped the play for the foul on Galap by Heskett. Forgotten that much has been accomplished here under Jim Smith's management. Derby promoted to the Premiership, it created a stable climate for the upheaval of moving from the baseball ground here to Pride Park. And Jim himself is not attempting to disguise the difficulties of the last year or so. by the lap but he allowed Heskey to point back in. Well, he did very well. He tackled, winning the ball, and then just delayed a little on it. But he's invaluable to Jim Smith, Mark Lord, the lap. Almost play anywhere in his outfield. He was Darby's leading scorer yeah. in the Premiership <laughs> last season. Well, maybe throwing's not his speciality. <laughs> <laughs> You might say that, it slipped from his <laughs> grasp. <laughs> so Ziga has the chance to hurl it forward for Liverpool onto the head of Heskey. The mention of uh, uh, Wilson, Wilkinson's change, of course, has meant a difference to Sammy Lee. From assistant to the under 21 coach, he was the uh, man who gave at Malcolm Christie's debut at that level in Finland on Tuesday. Ziegler, Murphy, Barmy with a little uh, give and go. Heskey has actually worked it wider to Carragher. Liverpool flooding players into the centre. from Owen didn't carry much threat. No, but it was lovely football. The build-up was to admire. And that's when Bambi and Berger took in field mark and they dragged the wing backs in. Seth Johnson followed Bambi there. Heskey was only too aware that Carragher was just galloping into acres of space. Powell. And when uh, Christie goes wide, Darby have got to get other players into the penalty area. It's starting to happen here. Coming from the opposite side, it got in Powell, of course, as well. Shifting it back to Paul. and zip about Liverpool's work. Ziga. Ziga committed himself then and was beaten by the touch and here's King Kladze. Herkia pulled out of the centre. King Kladze again. Kalakari. Johnson. Already a couple of times given good width to Derby further forward. Just the uh, given offside. Well, that was a very ambitious ball from Valakari, man. Uh, Callister lengthening uh, Liverpool's game or trying to do that. Use the acceleration of Owen. He rather lost his way at Wembley last weekend, lost his place. Helsinki. 
No, he didn't be play well. He'd be first to admit that, Michael. But you know, he didn't go out there with the intention of not playing well. So I'm sure he'd love to get the situation today if someone could add a ball to him the way David Beckham did last week. I'm sure his touch will be better than it was then. Liverpool ninth at the start of play. A win would take them to fourth place. players, Derby would get off the bottom above Bradford City with a draw. They need a, a hefty win to go further above uh, West Ham. Heskey. Now Berger. Heskey takes it on. And we just had a look round to see uh, who was there and uh, <laughs> must have, it could look like a corner from here. Heskey at his very best when he gets it in there, stays on his feet, Mark Strong, determined to keep hold of the ball. Well, this is very close, this is a tough call for the referee, he's a long way away from this. Certainly it was a corner, you could see that, but a real difficult one from where the referee was judging that from. Okay, I mean, just a little bit of ground by having a look to see who was there with him. To uh, Owen, the lap sort of that, Aranio. Breaking it on to King Kladzic. There's a point from the assistant, but Steve Bennett trying to play the advantage here to suit Derby. Burley. Nearly, but that's a ball. Uh, they haven't spotted Seth Jones, so that's the first time he's made that run three or four times already in the match when Derby have had the ball on this near side, but no one has either spotted him or found him yet. And earns Liverpool the corner. Well, not the best cross. Again, finding space in behind Seth Johnson, who'd gone forward, Nicky Bambi. Backstad saw him there, but didn't really go and close him out. Thought he would go over, shut him out, but he let him get it, control it. Not a great cross, though. Okay, then told Bambi that he wanted to go across and take the corner. Which he's done there. And a great header by Emil Heskey has given Liverpool the lead at Pride Park in the 17th minute. Well, it's been a big clash down there. Someone flat in the face in the six-yard box, Michael Owen. But, well, 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 with Gary McAllister takes a corner mark, there's danger written all over it. He's got beautiful, exquisite delivery. And Emil Heskey's attacking of the ball there. Brilliant. What a header. Look at him. Strong. Powerful. Made the ball his. That's unstoppable, that header. Great ball in and a fantastic header. In the melee around Heskey. Owen certainly uh, fell backwards and is still down. I think what happened, Martin, is he... Derby play was running back from sort of outside the six-yard box and Michael, I think, tumbled and then the Derby player just seemed to run straight into him. It's Chris Riggett. But Andy, you might remember Heskey scoring with a couple of headers here in his Leicester days in a game that we did. Yes, he did. With four headers in about, what, 15, 20 minutes that day. Well, that's a bad cut. Be a bit of concussion there. So Gerard Houllier, yet again, despite the, uh, the pleasure of seeing his side take the lead, now has a problem. Well, he has Robbie Fowler. I was just about to say it's a timely goal for Emil Heskey, Mark. Robbie Fowler approaching 100% fitness, playing more and more games. Emil Heskey's goal record, not brilliant this season, it's only his second. So it was timely, but Michael Owen's injury, certainly not so. Well, 
Incidentally, Liverpool are responding to a cash crisis at non-league club Runcorn. They will send a side tomorrow night to Runcorn, a neighbourly gesture, which I'm sure will get the support of the Merseyside public. And Gerard Houllier making it quite clear that a number of his backup players today and as many senior men as he can uh, uh, get to Runcorn will take part. But one or two of them certainly have ruled themselves out. Or Fate has been unkind and uh, Hagen right at the start. Owen now in most unusual circumstances and knowing Michael Owen, he, he'll want to get back on. But medical advice will prevail, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure the doc will be on his way down now. Have a quick look at him. There'll certainly be stitches involved, you would imagine, but more importantly, there's any concussion there. Strange sort of start to the game, though. Not, nothing had really settled in the game there was no real pattern to it man no one has really had an opportunity but just one exquisite delivery from McAllister who has great quality from set pieces and a beautiful header Pesky have gone uh, seven appearances for Liverpool without scoring since the uh, opening day goal to beat Bradford City but he's not a striker who judges himself or really expects to be judged on the, the goal ratio as much as some shall we say he yeah. offers other attributes with his pace and his power and, and the draw defenders away to the benefit of other attackers other aspects of Liverpool's play and that goal was all his a huge leap the man who put it in the right area for him, Gary McAllister. Ziga. Given the rivalry in the East Midlands, it will be uh, irritating for Derby fans that uh, two ex-Leicester players were involved in that goal. Well, Seth Johnson has been spoken to, Martin, and it's just because of he had a little rash challenge with Jamie Carragher in the far corner, up just outside the Liverpool penalty area, and it's just a quiet word. I think Jamie Carragher did him a huge favour, you know, by jumping up very, very quickly. It's going to be a second substitution for Liverpool with uh, just over 20 minutes gone. What a reception he's getting, Robbie Fowler, Martin, for the Liverpool fans. I think it's fair to say in the wider scheme of things this is probably a bit ahead of schedule for Fowler to be involved in the game he's missed so much football over the past 18 months or so part of the problem with the England call up and of course Gerard Houllier was uh, happy to react to it but from Liverpool's point of view they'd like to have had him at the club and uh, worked on his particular needs this is Bambi the post would have been the one. Not sure if he just missed hit it, Nicky Bambi, but certainly was there to send it wide to the far post with the same sort of little bend on it. Here, Pierre. High above Burley. Irania. And we'll bring you news on Michael Owen just as soon as we get it. Halfway through the first half. Liverpool have the injury problems, but uh, they also have the inspiration of the opening goal. Johnson being behind. Uh, it's not a new experience for Derby County this season. Can Clancy offside? Liverpool kept their discipline, held a, a line that worked. And let's get a word on the, the Michael Owen situation from Claire Tomlinson, who's down in the dressing room area. Claire. Well, Martin, the immediate news is encouraging. Michael Owen is conscious. He got up off the stretcher unaided and walked into the Liverpool dressing room where he's now being attended by the Liverpool club doctor, Mark Waller. We'll bring you more as soon as we've got any more on that. Uh, thank you. It's Robbie Fowler. It's Heskey. And it could easily have been two. What a block, Mark Bragstad, I think, got the final block. But that's what defending's all about. They were a little sloppy initially, not dealing with a through ball here. They should be dealing with that quite comfortably, always in control, they don't. But watch this for a block from Bragstad. There he goes. What an important stop that is. Struck well enough. It's another McAllister corner, though. Berger. 
Costa Rica. Towards the Ziga. I'll take a pick. You want a free header? Well, that was one. No real challenge on Christian Ziga at all. It's just one touch for Gary McAllister that's gone straight back into the melting pot. Back post, no pressure. He'll be disappointed he hasn't hit the target. Just made the goalkeeper work a little. But Jim Smith, so Jim Smith's worst worry mark would be another goal for Liverpool. They are a team I feel Liverpool when they get their noses in front. An awful lot of the time, they grow in confidence, the passing improves. They're very hard to play against. And they've been leaking goals at the rate of two a game, Derby County. It could easily have been two here inside 25 minutes. All the attempts coming from Liverpool. Despite difficulties, it cost them two of their starting 11. Ziga. It's only a game, that's the title of Jim Smith's new autobiography. It's a bit more than that at the moment in the affairs of Derby County. Oh, it's a very important game. Well worth reading. Foul. McAllister. A succession of ankle injuries that have helped to Robbie Fowler's career almost get to a complete standstill in long periods. He is short of matches. With the uh, odd first team outing recently for Liverpool, but hasn't really found anything at the. Uh, Form that we know he's all capable of. And, uh, even the full fluency wouldn't have caught that one from Berger. No, but this is money in the bank. I know you're saying it's a little early, Mark, but you know this is 70 minutes of football that Robbie didn't expect. Pesky. Barmby. Blocked by Bragstad. Not to challenge, and it's gone up. Well, I hope for Derby, of course, Liverpool's defensive record, they're the best in the Premiership last season. It's not been uh, that way this time. They've not shut out another Premiership team since the uh, opening day of this season. That win against Bradford City, Sonder Vesterveld has uh, been spoken to, I think, quite firmly by Gerard Houllier. It's not... Uh, it's been kept within the confines of the dressing room, and uh, the of has patently made mistakes. The goal at Chelsea that shaped the destiny of that match so early at Stamford Bridge a couple of weeks ago. Certainly his responsibility. Still relatively young. And, uh, highly thought of at Anfield and uh, the, with the Dutch squad as well. Goalkeeping costs matches at this level. It certainly does, but there's been nothing in the game so far, the opening half hour, just approaching that uh, suggests that the Liverpool are being troubled in any shape or form at the back. They've been very comfortable, Mark. They've had nothing much to deal with. Christie's been a little isolated from me, another injury. Another clash this time, Heskey, but Liverpool have been so comfortable at the back. There's been no great dramas, no worries for them. The opening half hour. Well, they say things come in threes, and three for Gerard Houllier in picking the team, and three inside half an hour here. Ah, it's just a ball hit them. Thoughtful approach from the manager, the chatty approach from his assistant. And a short of a comment, Phil Thompson. Of that derby, despite the supposedly high 
players in that midfield area. Liverpool are bossing it. Cast has been very much to the fore. Powell. So there's a, there's a dangerous play in there. Just add him up, I think, with Gary McAllister, really. Just went up with a, an arm hitting Danny Murphy's happy that fell, took the referee's attention. He didn't have to clap at Darren Powell after that. Rory Delap stretching for that ball, Mark, was sort of hobbled back to his position. Or whether he's just tweaked the muscle. And he just uh, got fit again into some Achilles uh, problems. And another for Derby County is that's more than he's played so far this season. And chop and change for Jim Smith. Ziga. It's a wasteful one. That was poor. Just about to remark that how much better Liverpool have been in the possession of the ball in Derby. That was an example we just saw there and Tom Seeger just played an aimless ball. This is, where it, this is where it hasn't happened for him, Mark. The last third so far, Derby. You know, Chris has been a lonely figure in that central part of the pitch. Seeger. Quickly getting it back for a combination of Barnby and Murphy. Barnby again. A tough tackling, Nicky Barnby. <laughs> <laughs> well, he certainly wanted the ball. And what he didn't want was the referee to produce a yellow card. The, the bookings for just knocking the ball away. I don't think it's for that tackle. But when they sort it out, Nicky just knocks the ball off the pitch. Just back heels it. Well, cautions equals a one match suspension. Back in the right back area to help uh, Jamie Garriger deal with the uh, initial danger. Well, we've seen some stirring comebacks here this season against uh, <laughs> Southampton and Middlesbrough, and I mentioned earlier Leeds. And the one come down really against Charlton when they were 2 0 up Derby. I think it's the only time they've been in front this season. Oh, hold on a minute, Mark. Oh, it's Barnby. Uh, what's Steve Bennett going to do here? I think he's going to content himself taking Barnby off. It's a, bit, that's a quick succession. That's a problem with referees, but people for stupid and nothing incidents, Mark. Is that this here? It was a late tackle from Nicky Barnby. I'm sure if it had been Nicky Barnby, we'd have seen a yellow card. I'm absolutely positive. The referee's reaction was, I'm reaching for my card. He saw it was Barnby, thought, uh oh. Nirania. Oh. Goalkeeper's ball. Oh. Uh, <laughs> referee's now got another problem because Barnby goes down, and if the yellow card came out for Johnson, you can imagine what the crowd's reaction would be after Barnby had escaped on the far side a few seconds earlier. Oh, you're absolutely right. You called it perfectly. I think that would have been a booking as well. There's no doubt about that. This is a one as he nicks it fast, he comes in, it's a little late. Well, sometimes Emil Heskey doesn't seem to get into the groove, but this isn't one of those days. He is making uh, Derby work really hard at the back. Well, he's been busy, he's been alive, his movement's been first class. And in the back of that wonderful header, his confidence is starting to grow. That's a fine effort, not his strongest side, but you can see what he's trying to do. And he ain't too far away from accomplishing it. Christie. I hope you'll 
you'll see him if you follow that on uh, Channel 404 for Sky Digital View. You'll see him in the possession of the ball. Yeah. Further forward, it's a lot of unselfish running so far. Liverpool in the ascendancy. On the scoreline and territorially. And in terms of confidence. on Michael Owen from Claire Thomas. Well, Michael Owen does have a nasty gash on the back of his head. It's taken more than half a dozen stitches which have been given to him by the club doctor. He has, however, shown signs of con concussion and he will go to a local hospital to have an X-ray. King Clatter. And Babel uh, committed himself and got the break. Heskey. International might have uh, caught up with him a bit for today, Andy. Yeah, I mean, but I think that's been typical of Derby's performance. It's been a little lethargic all round, Mark. They haven't quite sparked at all. I don't think Craig can have any arguments with the decision to give him a yellow card here. So McAllister again. Is this this little straight free kick? It is. the first hit with uh, Barmby and uh, it was a brilliant piece of improvisation by Nicky Barmby to give Robbie Fowler the chance well, that's typical of what we've seen to this point Liverpool really have opportunities to uh, this game beyond Derby's redress that's maybe the wonder the fact that Jim Smith can cling on to at the moment Classic. Powell. We shouldn't underestimate the, the pressures that players at the bottom of the table have to play under, even this early in the campaign. As Derby did have a pretty dismal start a year ago and sorted themselves out. Bragstad. Now calling for more. They were a bit impatient at Villa a couple of weeks ago and team know what they thought the visiting fans then. And, uh, just to remind you, Aston Villa beat Derby County 4-1. Yeah, plenty of passes but no real progress as yet from Derby. Irania. The one thing you know about Jim Smith, Martin, is he's unhappy with something. If it stays like this for any length of time, he's quite happy to make a triple substitution at any time just to try and change the shape of things. I mean, not one attempt at goal they've had in almost 38 minutes of football and that home. We talked about how long Fowler might uh, play in the game and that being brought forward, but Branco's through part. Oh, he's one. He's certainly back from a hernia operation who scored in each of the four games he played for Derby at the start of the season. Well, you talk about Kukladzi and I mentioned him. If you play him from the start of the game, then the one thing he's got to do is influence it some way. He hasn't for me. He's got on the periphery of everything. He hasn't been got the ball in the right areas. And they do lack a bit of height, power and thrust up front and depending on Stryker's fitness and the game's at the stage now unless things change for Derby in the last seven minutes of this map this first half Martin that Jim seriously must be thinking of getting Stryker on sooner rather than later Stryker already doing the necessary stretches but Derby have got a court 
Well, such is the nature of this sport. We watch that it can change on this and load people in. A good ball in from Burley. Someone gets a finish on the end of it. Suddenly things are looking rosy and Derby are confident and buoyant. Good fist, but uh, Johnson, where the goalkeeper still trying to regain his ground, Had to try and uh, control it better than that. And take advantage of the ball as it broke to him. Wasn't a bad idea. I mean, this is uh, punches it down rather than gets any distance. And when you see that both players will leave the posts, that was a strange decision for me. Balls dropped at the edge, you'd have thought they'd have stayed on the posts. Anything back over the keeper's head, they were right in trouble. That's the first attempt. Footballers, like the rest of us, are creatures of habit. Yeah. <laughs> and the message most times is push out. That's good, strong work by Heskey again, who's uh, had a very impressive 40 minutes. So Jim Smith and his assistant Steve Round will. Uh, be needed for the second half. They immediately concerned that Derby defend this free kick properly. It's going to be taken by the left-footed Ziga. Well, Jim's going to change it. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind about that. Now, whether it's before half-time even, or whether he waits till the half-time interval. He's clutching his head again. Back on his feet. McAllister. Must be uh, pleased at this point with the way his uh, return to the team has uh, come about. Because he had the suspension for the sending off at Arsenal and then this had to uh, curtail his football involvement because of an illness to his wife. Change is going to be made. This is how serious Jim thinks something needs to be done. He's got to get Strooper on. That's it. So it makes sense to me. They lack power. Christie's lack support. Well, it's the young defender Riggett who's coming off. Maybe uh, we're going to have a change of system as well. One of the well, it's just set to three central defenders. Yeah, they're going with a four. I'm looking down at Jim. It's almost as if they, they're going to go with their Anio de la Bragstad. Seth Johnson is a pack four. <laughs> 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 the start and said, well, there were really only three defenders in the, uh, in the team. That back three around here would see himself as a midfield player. It was the right wing back. Uh, he'll have to play deeper. Seth Johnson also a midfield man on the opposite flank. As you said, Andy, he's not frightened of making difficult no. decisions, Jim Smith. And a lot of his substitutions have for paid spectacular dividends. He's going to be twos and threes as well, but I guess it's a bit early for anything quite as dramatic as that. As I say again, uh, with two minutes to go to half-time, the best thing for Derby. And you can see the frustration from the manager of the... Uh, performance so far the best thing is that it's only one nil i think that's right man absolutely i mean they could be out this game Lap, and he's giving it away again it's a chance to win it back and finds that iradio but he uh, inside their own half and his passing lacking the polish feeling the pressure 20th in the Premiership charts. Oh, Gary McAllister giving offside, holding his head. Can't believe the flag went up when it did. A lovely run. The ball's played in, it's very, very close. 
Could have gone either way. But Jim's going to need half time, Jim Smith, Mark, just to buttonhole people down into what their jobs are going to be second half. They're going to certainly looks to me as if a stripper's going to play with Christie and Kid Cladsey as a front three stretched across the wood to the park. Pow. Frank Burley's got forward, but that's uh, food and drink to Sammy Herpia. It's not easy for Rory Delap. Derby confidence in short supply. Glances. Well, it's five extra minutes before half time because of the stoppages for Hegem and for Michael Owen. players I think about to be warmed by the manager at half time. Well they'll be warmed by the fans I'm sure of it before they even get into the dressing room Mark there hasn't been a good performance first half from Derby. Opportunity. Yeah, yeah, a bit of rustiness because he's been out of the, the scenario for a while. Yeah, I mean, anything across the face here. You look at Robbie Fowler's there, look at Nicky Barnby coming in back post. So anything flash across the front of goal. The Derby needs something. You need just a little bit holding the game, something that just gives him a little bit of confidence. Well, the sight of Strupa will uh, please the fans, that's for sure. Fine fettle when they suffered that injury. Hey, hey. Doing that, giving away a free kick, <laughs> knocking a Liverpool player about. But, uh, you step in the right direction, if you understand what I mean. Rather, rather respectful, I don't know what it is, whether it's I say, down to the, uh, the difficulties of looking at the league table for the last two weeks and leaving the uh, pain of that position. He's not been good enough so far for Derby County. Christy, I'm not sure of help up front. Headed on by Burke. Out by Carey. Switched to right back for most of the game now, it seems. Well, they have got a chance now to maybe toss one forward. Struper. Approach, maybe a more prudent approach with Herpia and Babel so good in the air to work the position from the restart. But it didn't come off for Derby. Well, they're going to have to be careful. They've got to play this way, Derby. Mark. They're leaving 2v2 at the back. Looks like an annual and Johnson. We see I'm not exactly full backs in a back four. We'll get forward. We'll continue to get forward. And that's going to put the onus on the lap and Bragstad to give nothing away. And Fowler walks out of the way because uh, Barnby allowed to go on by the present offside legislation. Nothing wrong with the officials taking that view. Anything wrong for Liverpool that didn't lead to a goal. That's an excellent decision from the officials. Super play from Nicky Barnby. The lap's hand is up, but suddenly but he does get back in. He does do just enough with Bragstad to stop Nicky Barnby. And that's been typical of the first half. There been one or two occasions when Liverpool really could have rubber stamped their authority in this game. Maybe they will rue those lapses in front of Mark Corn's goal. Murphy. Ziga. Goes up against Berger. 
Yeah. Strange atmosphere around the ground. Isn't that? You get that feeling when you're sitting here. And all the people at home probably won't. But it really is strange. Almost the fans have arrived. Almost wait for something to get excited about. Well, for 49 minutes they haven't seen an awful lot. Stupar backing in with an arm out as well. It's a decision given with the advice of the assistant Jim Devine, who is close to it. story for Liverpool, a splendid goal for Heskey, injuries to deal with as well, but their players had the polish that Derby certainly hasn't. At half-time at Pride Park, Derby County nil, Liverpool won. It may be uh, relevant at this point to remind you of Liverpool's away record in the Premiership this season. They lost at Arsenal in that heated match at Highbury. They were 3-1 up at Southampton, but only drew 3-3. They were 1-0 up at West Ham, and that finished 1-1, and they lost 3-0 at Chelsea. So you've got a group of players here in red, although the dominant force in the first half, who haven't followed it through to produce an away win so far in the league this season. This represents a very good chance for them. Plenty of room for improvement for Derby County, and one will be surprised if there isn't a, a better showing from the home side in the second half. Player cam for the... Uh, First 15 minutes or so, we'll focus on Robbie Fowler, Sky Digital Viewers Channel 404. Strupa, and it's Darrell Powell, and there's maybe a little statement of intent from Derby. Well, a little bit of a rush of blood, but there's nothing wrong with shifting it forward quickly and picking up the bits for Derby. He just got a bit of forward momentum going here. And if he had just held on to it, watch Christie just go around his left, Mark. He's going round the outside there. He has a little look at his captain as if to say, well... A little bit of composure could have fed me in. Back forward by Iranio. Just he does have the chance to ease it on this time. He's got to King Clancy to one side and Strupa to the other. Barmy. And Jamie Carragher. Stopping Heskey that time. Ziga. Oh, the goalkeeper's lost it. And the flag, flag, flag has gone up. And that was one of those again where the second phase of play is uh, in the official's mind. This is going to be an interesting one. This is a gorgeous strike from Christian Ziga. Well, I tell you what, that's a harsh decision that's gone against Liverpool. Absolutely great defending from Braxstad. So often you see defenders don't react much, but you can see the ball move through the air. Fowler reacts, Bambi reacts, but so does Braxstad. And that new ball again, giving the goalkeeper problems, you think? Well, that's what the goalkeepers will say. Yeah, they certainly moved. You would just expect the whole tempo of Derby's game to be up 10-20%. Push. Unnecessary one, really, by Barmy in that position. I know it's on the edge of the area, but Powell uh, is really going into uh, a position directly threatening the goal, but that now could come for Liverpool. The Strupa, a real set-piece specialist, can get some bend on this. Well, he fancies it. He's come all the way over. He ain't walked over there just to play a bit part, I don't think, Mark. Coast Trooper. <laughs> and Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did the job and then wondered where the ball had gone to. Kept in by Darrell Powell. Malakari there. To 
free kick given against the fin, I think. Well, the wall got away with that free kick. It didn't stay the most solid wall I've seen, I have to say. There were gaps all over it, but it did its job. It's a decent strike by Strupa. Yeah. A couple of millimetres higher and uh, just a skimmed in to give Vestavel some work to do. Local goalkeeper. And a very easy first half. Pow. Johnson looking for Christie. So to uh, is Marcus Babel. Arania. It. And Burnley had kept running, I think the ball was aimed for him, but uh, he made something of it, and Derby have a corner. Well, this is already a better three or four minutes that Derby have had in this football match. You can tell the noise in the crowd suggests that too. Derby fans a bit more confident that the team can make something happen. Johnson's corner. Comes out towards Burley. I felt that it was dropping towards the right man as well. Craig Burley, a midfield player with a real eye for goal. I'm not so sure Blackstad doesn't get a head on this as it drops over everybody. It just seems to loop up off him. Always under pressure. Difficult to control it. doesn't really wait to consider he wants to get in and get the ball back for his team but of course that policy occasionally leads to rash moments and that was one of them Berger eyeing up the opportunities here Sammy Herpia at the back post and the stripper did well knew exactly what was happening He's backing into Hupia, getting the free kick. Liverpool have only taken two points in their last three in the Premiership. Four games in all competitions without a win. There's a big uh, 40 minutes here for them. As Derby try to create yet another comeback in this strange season for them when they have scored plenty of goals but have conceded too many and Paul realising he was outside the area realising that Heskey was a major threat did well that yeah, was a good decision Murphy Barnby corner it is made for Heskey now Martin you do feel as I said that Derby have got to take a chance to push men forward, to take a little gamble it should in all honesty leave a little bit of gap down the sides and in between the two centre backs and maybe left isolated Pierre to get the running out of the way to get to the ball he's got two up three back to Liverpool one of whom Babel won the header and Carragher likewise is in there. Burger came in a bit high. Yeah, he's a little unlucky. It's just such good control from an annual to control it. Just catches him on the knee. I don't think there was much intent there. Or nothing sinister, I don't think, from Patrick Berger. I don't know whether the referee's going to book him or just have a little word with him. fluent in English, although you never know it. He doesn't like doing interviews. It's very painful flush on the kneecap like that. And uh, there have been times in the past, I think, when we've uh, accused Iranio maybe of uh, exaggerating physical contact, but that would have uh, tears to his eyes, maybe. Takes the free kick. Barmy. And that pro 
probing style of his. Nice not to quite carrying the cutting edge for Murphy's run. King clads it. Trying to slide it through for Strupo, lost his balance at the crucial moment. It's good movement to the other side too from Christie. And that was a little bit better, and that's what they need King Clancy to do, Mark, if he's going to play all of this game, then George King Clancy's got to get possession in that type of area. He's either got to do something on his own or pick a pass out like that for Strupo, for Christie. <laughs> Fowler. Pesky. Oh! It's his day at Pride Park. Emil Heskey's the name. Well, Seth Johnson will look to talk about not playing fullback, not being used to it. I think he drops in here. I think he's the one who plays Heskey on side. It's a lovely little ball, but I think they're all up. We see Johnson come in from the other end. It's a glorious, glorious strike. But watch Seth Johnson. Look how deep he is. Look what he's dropped in. He can't affect the play. He can't get to Heskey. What a stunning strike. Top class. You yeah, just don't save that. He's never got a senior hat trick. He's often spoken of his ambition to achieve that. He's got a great chance here. As Derby find themselves yet again in a position of really having to chase two adrift. But after a, a pretty uh, difficult few days for the England squad and the members of it. Who is very much part one feels of the future for the national team, showing a, a big audience here what uh, he is made of. Johnson. That's a fine ball to uh, King Gladstick, and he switched it on to his left foot. He went for the pass towards Strupa. Bali! Good effort. Huge difficulty in that. Spinning and bouncing very high. Got to turn this body away from goal. A really good attempt. Good shape. Controlled it beautifully, but could just find the shot he needed to put it on target. Headed on by Heskey. The bane of Jim Smith's life at the moment. Control from Liverpool now, the 2 0 up. As you say, away confidence isn't high. Looking for the first away win of the season. They got themselves in a great position just before the hour mark. They expect to try and keep possession of the ball as often as they can. Make Derby chase it. Because you do suggest, I suggested earlier, Heskey, they're going to get chance like that to get in behind Fowler and Heskey. Don't need to go searching for another goal, Liverpool. There's no flag, and Heskey's on the move again. And to feed it across for while well, Fowler was there, Berger was making tracks, and from the other side, Barnby had seen the potential in that position for Liverpool.
Seeger, Berger, slapped away by Braxter. Finkladze, onside, good position by Christie, just checked as he had to do. Strupal's in the centre. Carragher got enough of it to deal with the danger. And every time that Liverpool play their way out, Derby have got to be careful that they don't go uh, further adrift in uh, overcommitting. Because here comes Seeger on a five forward. Berger's being given offside. Uh, pattern set for the second half as Albert set. Derby will push forward. Offside again. It's a decision that should have gone Liverpool's way and didn't. Today in the East Midlands, a team wearing red from the northwest came to this part of the country and uh, conquered, went home with three points. And it might well shape up to be the same story. In fact, if uh, Liverpool don't get the win from here in the with half an hour to go, and Julio will be asking some hard questions of his players. Picking them off now, Mark the teams. Not in the back of the head, though. Yeah, well, that was shut off over, would have been interesting, wouldn't mm. it, from Berger? Maybe that's one English word he doesn't know. <laughs> this is... Uh, and Kladzik. Comes back to Powell from Burley. That's wide for Iranio, moving freely again. Three in the centre for Derby. Slid away by Murphy, helped on by Barmby. Pesky. Turns away two against one. What's Hesse going to do here? He gives the chance to Robbie Fowler. And I'm sure with a few more games under his belt, Fowler would have made that light of that. But Yeah, that's some foul of light for me. I think he's the best of the Liverpool finishers. The most natural, if you like. And that should have been it. That should be game over. A ragged derby now. I know they're throwing men forward, they've got to try and get a goal. But, you know, there, your second last defender, and you go and try and win a ball, but you're not sure you're going to get. And that should have been it. And Robbie Fowler would know that. And Mark Paul kept it out and just about kept Derby in the contact. Selfish play by Heskey. He certainly wasn't thinking hat trick then. He's now the subject of our player camera. 404 for Sky Digital viewers. season so it's been a bit of a surprise that they've not produced more points so far on their travels maybe that's one of the reasons why it's a, a slack one from Jamie Carragher that's crazy it's just the sort of things that drive managers and coaches mad you've absolutely control of a football match and you make a decision like that Gladsack did well. Iranio's pass, and who's coming back there? Herring back was Heskey. And they needed him, Liverpool, in those circumstances. And they thinking quickly. Well, Berg was offside foul, I think would have been OK. I think you're absolutely right, Rob. He's a little disappointed. But they all want to get forward, they can see gaps appearing all over the place, Martin Fowler's onside, no doubt about that. <laughs> uh, 
his targets from the rest of El will be uh, to make sure that uh, the shut out the opposition today. They haven't been doing that. Keeper himself actually personal form. If he's a short of confidence, Derby haven't uh, got themselves into position to capitalize on that. Not yet. Murphy. Looking out with Berg. Monday night football from the northeast Middlesbrough against Newcastle tomorrow at seven Sky Sports one and Sky Sports Extra and West Brom against Wolves from the nationwide first division at 7.30 Sky Sports two and again Sky Sports Extra Time you hit it, no doubt of that. Oh, not the cleanest strike you see Craig Burley make. Incidentally, Andy Darby, also Jim Smith, been linked with another Celtic player. Craig Burley, of course, came from Celtic. Alan Stubbs feels he needs a player with some real authority at the back. Christian Daly, who was here, of course, another being mentioned, but he got the damage in Scotland duty last week. Again, Malcolm Christie looking right along the line. If he was, he shouldn't have been. He's got a really good position here. Oh, it's very tight, very close again. Could have gone either way. Maybe half a stride off. It remains a, a major talking point in our football, the number of offsides that uh, shouldn't have been. Certainly came out for the second half with the best of intentions. And now you feel they're not only having to play uh, against Liverpool, who are in fine fettle, but against their own uh, state of mind, which isn't particularly strong, and against uh, the backdrop of a disappointed set of supporters here. That's a lovely touch from Fowler. Barmby. Can he carve out the hat trick for Heskey here? Well, it's 3 0, and uh, that scenario was very much on the cards as Derby chased the game. That's uh, great running from Picky Barbie, but absolutely top draw. Leave Seth Johnson behind, and the way he picks him out with a brilliant header from Heskey, a brilliant strike. Well, he's entitled to that. Scuff one in, son. All types of goals in this hat trick. Fabulous day to the front man, right on cue. And he's deserved it. He's worked hard, he's played well. Liverpool have, and well, they're just picking them off now. Well, one of the uh, most senior figures in management. It is the 60th birthday on Tuesday. But, uh, he's going to go into that landmark in his uh, personal life with some uh, serious professional difficulties. And at Derby, I think with still uh, a quarter of the game to go, those glum faces tell it all. But uh, Emil Heskey, that's the other side of this particular coin. Ian Sturridge coming on for Iranio. So Emil Heskey has uh, achieved a, a personal landmark here at Pride Park today. Three goals in a premiership game. Doesn't say too much. Gets on with the job. Still learning. Fantastic potential. 
awesome physique. And uh, I just feel that this will take him another significant step forward in uh, averaging a goal every five appearances for Liverpool. As we said earlier, he's not the sort of striker that you should totally judge on that particular ratio. And today, well, he has uh, been so much the difference. Looking for more, Heskey looking for more. Oh, surely even Derby can't produce a comeback from here, Martin. He's really taking a chance now, Jim. So I think Balakar is going to play right back. And then the rest are going to get forward and try and get them a goal. minutes Derby the lap goes for Bragstad so who's that going to leave at the back <laughs> Liverpool have uh, dropped back in numbers so it doesn't really matter at this moment Burley one of the deeper Derby players Malakari and it's going to be a, a real break here Fowler's in his own half he can't be offside Barnby up with Robbie Fowler Oh, Derby very much let off the hook by Fowler for a second time in this second half. First time with a chance of his own, this time with the cut back towards Barnby. That no, was just casual. I mean, it was so easy, so obvious for Robbie that he just was very, very casual over the pass. Liverpool are a good side. I said that the. At 1-0, they get another. They're excellent, but on the top of the game, they are at the moment. I mean, this is a comfortable pass. There's nothing difficult about this for Robbie. But you can see how casual he was, trying to just play it across. But they're a good side when they're on top of the game, as I've said. They control it, they pass it around. They've got the players now where they can absorb a little bit of pressure in, and then break very, very quickly. And that's the players when they can absorb a, a few injuries as well. They, uh, oh, absolutely. Depth of the squad is impressive. No all show today, remember. Gerard and Harman would normally be in Gerard Houllier's first choice midfield. Uh, He's Jimmy not Redknapp. relaxing yet. Yeah, Jimmy Redknapp, not even mentioned, not included all season. And not likely to be no. for some time. He's uh, in America at the moment. Looking up on the results of the uh, latest attempts to uh, get that knee right. The Frenchman not involved today, he's not fit either. He was recruit from Orzaire at the start of the season. Christie. Well to get that back across the face of the goal, but nothing really happening. For Derby and Bambi, with so much happening for Liverpool. It's spot for choice at times, you know, Liverpool players looking forward, but. Premiership Patrick. And what a fine one. Brilliant header. Stunning shot. And a little poacher's goal. Super day. As if he was uh, knocked onto the ball for that third goal by the uh, defender behind him.
Mbappe and uh, and you think the number of times the offside flag's gone up in the close moments as well. This line could be uh, even more embarrassing <laughs> against Derby County. Well, the Liverpool taken all of very good chances, Mark. There would be. They could be sitting five or six at the moment, and no one could argue with it. to define Liverpool's confidence and control. Murphy. They just have so much space. I can't believe that in the Premiership match I'm watching players be able to control the ball in midfield in particular. Have a little look round. No real pressure on them at all. Pop the ball off time and time again. Now looking to chip home, but again, he really shouldn't have been allowed the uh, run of possession there. You've got a free kick. Now well, trying to get an extra yard or so on it, but uh, still think it was uh, alive to that. Through Palmer, who just checking with the referee that it is direct. Well, certainly back a sufficient distance. Scrooper. Past the wall, but past the post. Yeah, rather scuffed it a bit. Didn't really connect for this the way he would have liked. Not a great wall again from Liverpool, kind of fragmented as he was striking it. Big day for Liverpool this though, Martin, I felt. Yeah, Derby struggling for a win, haven't won all season. They've only won sometime. Arsenal and Manchester United, very good wins yesterday. Gerard Julia would have known coming here that it's vital to pick up three points. Virtually away from Derby. So he's uh, darting out to short in the corner, trying to turn McAllister, who wasn't for the turning really. And it's back with Craig Burley in another Derby corner. Cleared the penalty area from McAllister. Oh, scarves held uh, proudly aloft, the uh, Anfield anthem being sung. And, uh, Liverpool I'm sure we can't out one or two more positions on the break to extend their advantage if they can. Derby, that's if they feel it's necessary at this stage. Burley, Sturridge drifting to the left. And up comes Carragher to try and close him down. Johnson, and he leaves it for Sturridge. Burley. Four for Derby in the centre. Christie still working hard to try and take up a position that might have had to hit at least his impressive goals tally. It's been such a difficult season. And Liverpool up to fourth place with a win here. And now they're looking for a fourth goal. Murphy. 
Berger. Fowler darts to the left. Husky, as you'd expect, uh, in the middle. Husky again. Berger. Only blocked off by Bragstead. I think it's fair to say he's the only really recognised defender Derby have got in their lineup at the moment. Rory Delap, more known uh, as a midfield man, and even further forward. He's been playing at the back today. Too easy for Liverpool. Fowler. Michael Owen will be disappointed he's missed out on the, most of this today. Heskey. Murphy. McAllister gliding into space. Heskey. So keep ball session at the moment. Oh, that's uh, Barbie's dummy. Bugger! Wow! Oh, what a goal. Well, I'll watch Monday Night Football tomorrow and we'll count the passes. That. Oh, that was fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. I told you they're a good team on top of the game. Derby haven't been able to get near them. They've just popped it about, popped it about, ran Derby ragged, fashioned the opening. Berger thinks I fancy a bit of this myself. Well, it's an equally stunning strike. Absolutely no chance for Mark Poon with any of the goals today. Liverpool at their most dominant. Derby County nil, Liverpool four. Patrick Berger, who's missed most of this season so far, off the mark. It's the end of today's shift for Nick Barnby. And Vladimir Schmitzer, another who's on the comeback trail. We just take this opportunity again to remind Liverpool fans and those of you who are on Merseyside who can get to Runcorn tomorrow for a match to raise funds for a cash trap non league club. Let's take place 7.30 tomorrow at the Canal Street ground in Runcorn. Yeah, well, of course. It'll be quite a strong Liverpool team out tomorrow, as strong as Gerard Ulliot can pick. whether here in the stadium or all around the world where these pitches are being sent the uh, Derby fans are venting their spleen against Jim Smith and some of them are heading for the exit well when you look at their attempts and goal 14 to 7 but it's the next one you see not a single shot for Sander Vestavelt to deal with in 80 minutes of football I think that's the most damning start of the day. Powell. It's been a very disjointed Derby County, and today they have had most of their first choice players available. It hasn't been the case for most of the earlier matches. That's where you expected Derby to be strong with uh, Burley, who hasn't really looked fully fit to me. And uh, Powell and Valakari, an international player in there. Rania and Johnson in the wide positions. You, you expected a strong fist of it in midfield for Derby, but Liverpool have really bossed that part of the game right from the outset. Well, what's been surprising is it's the lack of pressure that's been on the ball. The Derby have been able to exert on the game when they haven't had it. I mean, Nicky Bambi, Danny Murphy, Gary McAllister, and Patrick Berger won't play too many games, Martin, this season where they're allowed the time and the space like that. Murphy
much for even has now that they've enjoyed for most of the game. Well, defeat, even home defeat, is uh, acceptable at times in the Premiership, but uh, a margin such as this, which it does reflect accurately the shape of the game, a bit of pill for the fans of the Rams to swallow, and you would expect their pride at Pride Park to uh, to show, but the Liverpool side of it all, the opposite emotions. The problem for these uh, Liverpool players, you feel now, is the uh, the burden of history. The uh, 18 championships, none of course since 1990, none in the Premiership. Just one trophy in the last eight seasons, a League Cup. It's uh, weighed heavily, I think, the past on previous players in the 90s. And Gerard Houllier, is he going to be the man to take Liverpool back to the promised land? Well, he's been given every help in that department. Lots of money. Liverpool have given the Frenchman to spend lots of time that managers often don't get in today's football climate. So he's had the two commodities that a manager at this level needs, time and money. The rest is down to his own skill and ability in picking the right players and fashioning a team and a system that will take them on to success. Christie. It's an attempt, I think, to get it back across the face of the goal from Valakari, who's not the most confident player in advanced positions, although we did see him score a very rare goal in his career here against Charlton a month sure or so can, ago. I'm sure we can mark that down as an attempt on goal. <laughs> I hope it wasn't, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> McAllister. And he still wants more. He wants to uh, cement a regular place in this Liverpool lineup. Opportunity knocking for him today with the uh, man injured in training and uh, Stephen Gerrard troubled again with uh, a muscle strain uh, training with England before the Germany match. Which he undoubtedly would have played. He's a good player, Gary McAllister, Mark. Simple as that. He's a great pro. And he'll be enjoying this. Too little football lately for him. 35 years of age. He wants to play. He was absolutely delighted with this move in the summer. I know that. Spoke to him just before he went up to Liverpool. And he was so chuffed about the prospect of joining this team and seeing out his remaining year or two at a club like Liverpool. It's a much happier day for him than it was at Highbury, the only other time he started for Liverpool in the league. He didn't even get to half-time. Of course, uh, his new club were beaten. Out of their problems in away matches so far until today. Peter Taylor, plenty to think about between now and, and next week. The lesser boss of the studio. Somehow I've got a funny feeling that there'll be a bit more pressure on the Liverpool players when I've got the football next weekend than there's been this Sunday. Burley. encapsulates it for Derby. Dad, who was uh, with Norway, uh, drew with Wales and then lost at home to the Ukraine, prompting their coach, Mr. Johan Sem, to offer his resignation. The Norwegian FA, like uh, the English FA, I think are going to persuade their man to change their mind. They'll be able to make their man change their mind, I should say. Contest for a long, long time. Still a couple of minutes to go. Harvey <laughs> Fowler would love to get a notch on his belt with a goal. He really had a glorious opportunity. One minute we gone, we took away without, well, the back of an eyelid really. He just tucked it away quite comfortably. Jim Smith, and he has many. 
And we're feeling for the Derby County manager at the moment. He knows the buck stops with him. And that's Murphy's pass. Esky couldn't quite take it with him. Fowler. And then they wanted to take it first time, but I think maybe changing his mind about how to hit it first time, trying to steer it in the end rather than power it. Your thoughts on Jim Smith's situation, Andy? Well, it's tough. I mean, Jim's had times like this before, Mark, when he's found himself down there. It's not a time for panic, I would, I would say that, absolutely. It's a time for togetherness for Jim and his players. Players have a responsibility as well. It's not just Jim Smith's problem, this. And it's a situation that they'll only get out, Jim and his players, by working together. But I know he'll work every hour that he can, trying to put it right. He's a football man through and through, and he's very much a derby man. And it won't be for the want of trying or the effort. Oh, trying to get beyond uh, the lap. He did that, but the ball didn't come with him. in the Premiership, 23 goals conceded for Derby. Well, that tells you the problem. They have been, been unable to stop goals going in, and in only one of those games, Martin, have they kept it to one. Eight of the nine games, there's more than one goal going in, and that's just far too many. That spells disaster. On either side of the international break, four conceded at Villa Park, four today. Extra minutes and that uh, I'll pass by uh, quickly enough for Derby. You feel there we are on the ball here. And the Sturridge tries to flick a defence opening pass through to Christie. Offside, and even then, Mark Poem courts him again. <laughs> oh, the goalkeeper's made a couple of great saves, Mark, and it's still 4 0. Sturridge, Strupa, Johnson trying to take it on the break. The player who uh, turned down the chance to join Liverpool to come to Derby because he thought he'd get uh, more regular first team football. So, McAllister. In the right place, in the space and uh, part of the penalty area, in case the ball came through, which it did. Nothing. The ball has made light of those injury problems pre game and during the game to Hegem and Michael Owen. And they've made light of uh, the attempted resistance of Derby County. Certainly marching in today. And moving up the table. Newcastle will have their say tomorrow, our Monday night match. They're at Middlesbrough. Don't forget that. Burley. Emil Heskey's day for Liverpool. You don't have to be close to your 60th birthday as a manager to know but these are dire circumstances for Derby County. It wasn't all about Heskey because uh, he made a sharp end to a comprehensive uh, performance and Patrick Berger got in on the act as well. But Emil Heskey gets the match ball. The first for his collection, but I would venture to say maybe not the last. And Derby have to deal with... Uh, Certainly an early season crisis at Pride Park. Derby County nil, Liverpool four.
It is.